Africa Day, formerly African Freedom Day and African Liberation Day, is the annual commemoration of the foundation of the Organization of African Unity (OAU), now known as the African Union, on the 25th of May 1963. It is celebrated in various countries on the African continent as well as around the world. Topic: <laughs> Background The first Congress of Independent African States was held in Accra, Ghana on 15 April 1958. It was convened by Prime Minister of Ghana Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and comprised representatives from Egypt then a constituent part of the United Arab Republic, Ethiopia, Ghana, Liberia, Libya, Morocco, Sudan, Tunisia and the Union of the Peoples of Cameroon. The Union of South Africa was not invited. The conference showcased progress of liberation movements on the Africa continent in addition to symbolizing the determination of the people of Africa to free themselves from foreign domination and exploitation. Although the Pan-African Congress had been working towards similar goals since its foundation in 1900, this was the first time such a meeting had taken place on African soil. The conference called for the founding of an African Freedom Day, a day to less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 mark each year the onward progress of the liberation movement and to symbolize the determination of the people of africa to free themselves from foreign domination and exploitation the conference was notable in that it laid the basis for the subsequent meetings of africa heads of state and government during the casablanca group and the monrovia group era until the formation of the oau in 1963 History Five years later, on 25 May 1963, representatives of 30 African nations met in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, hosted by Emperor Haile Selassie. By then more than two-thirds of the continent had achieved independence, mostly from imperial European states. At this meeting, the Organization of African Unity was founded, with the initial aim to encourage the decolonization of Angola, Mozambique, South Africa and southern Rhodesia. The organization pledged to support the work conducted by freedom fighters, and remove military access to colonial nations. A charter was set out which sought to improve the living standards across member states. Selassie exclaimed, "'May this convention of union last 1,000 years.' The charter was signed by all attendees on 26 May, with the exception of Morocco. At that meeting, Africa Freedom Day was renamed Africa Liberation Day. In 2002, the OAU was replaced by the African Union. However, the renamed celebration of Africa Day continued to be celebrated on 25 May in respect to the formation of the OAU. Topic: <laughs> Contemporary celebrations. Africa Day continues to be celebrated both in Africa and around the world, mostly on 25 May although in some cases these periods of celebrations can be stretched out over a period of days or weeks. Themes are set for each year's Africa Day, with 2015's being the "...year of women's empowerment and development towards Africa's Agenda 2063." At an event in New York City in 2015, Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, Jan Eliasson, delivered a message from Secretary General Ban Ki moon in which he said, Let us intensify our efforts to provide Africa's women with better access to education, work, and health care and, by doing so, accelerate Africa's transformation. References Topic. External links Africa Day African Union website Grayson, Taylor. Videos from Africa Day 2014 in Limerick. Today.ie. Archived from the original on 27 May 2014.